This just in breaking news, Nez Nation, Donald Trump, President Trump, has just thrown down the gauntlet at Tombstone Biden Vegetable in Chief. I'm now calling him, I have a new nickname for him. It's Joseph Rigamortis Biden. Um, and I'll tell you something really amazing that I just uncovered. Stick around. But he has just challenged President Rigamortis Biden to a drug test. You can see this post on his social media platform, Truth Social. By the way, follow me on Professor Nez. Um, he just threw this down literally 25 minutes ago. President Trump saying drug test for crooked Joe Biden. Three question marks. I would also immediately agree to one. Now, there's been a lot of speculation. I happen to agree with it. Uh, maybe even from some really high quality uh, insider sources that have shown that uh, they've done everything in their power. The White House staff, uh, all the, I think, really the Obama-Clinton consortium and the woke mafia, they've done everything in their power. There has been uh, many, many reports of actual substance abuse and doing everything that they can to keep this guy alive, essentially, and keep some kind of sense of uh, this guy has any life left in him. Uh, and they've done everything they can. There's been multiple videos, multiple images. Uh, the real kind of evidence that I saw and that I think the whole world saw, even though they'll tell you to not believe your eyes, is the State of the Union four or five months ago where he was, I mean, absolutely out of his gourd. Veins popping through his skull, his eyeballs about to pop out of his cranium, uh, and a lot of yelling, screaming, and shouting. A lot of people, including the majority of the radical uh, extreme leftists, th think that he doesn't have a chance in this debate, and I'm one of them. Um, and so Trump throwing down this gauntlet, saying that uh, 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 Biden should get a drug test and that he would agree to one also, I think really sets a bold precedent. And actually, it's something that I think should happen on both sides, especially if he's agreeing to do one. And if, you know, the leftists and the liberals are honest and transparent as they say they are, they say they're the party for democracy, the party for transparency. I don't see what the issue is here. I don't see what the problem is here. I think the American public, remember, these guys work for us. They're public servants. Your representatives, you know, as a kind of an oxymoron, they're supposed to represent us. Your senators, congressmen, you know, the president of the United States is a public servant. I think it should absolutely be uh, unequivocally, unabashedly, 100% both sides should agree to this. You know, it's funny because Trump has pretty much agreed to every stipulation, every term that the most propagandist network, CNN, has stipulated for this uh, very first debate, which, by the way, guys, we're going to live stream it. So I implore you, I beseech you, it is in your best interest to subscribe, follow, hit the bell notification, make sure you subscribe to our free newsletter. It's free in the pinned comment, show notes, and description. You don't want to miss it Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. We are going live during the first debate. You don't want to miss that. Um, you know, he's agreed to everything. Trump has agreed to everything. As a matter of fact, let's take a look, shall we? Let's look at the uh, stipulations. I've done my research. I've broken this down step by step. Let's kind of see what has, um, what are the parameters? Who does it favor? What's exactly going to happen in this first debate? Just really, really quickly. And then I can't wait to hear your comments. Do you think that Biden should agree to uh, a drug test? Do you think he should? As a matter of fact, just give me a capital Y in the comments if you think he should. Give me a capital N in the comments if you don't think he should. And if you want to give me some context, I would love to hear more. If you want to give more than just a capital Y or N, please do so. So the duration uh, and format. Let's cover that first. Okay. So the duration and format is this, and that is you're going to see a 90-minute debate. It's going to be a 90-minute debate. will include uh, two commercial breaks. I kind of like this stipulation, as a matter of fact, that there won't be any opening statements. I don't really care for the opening statements. It's just a sales pitch anyway. We pretty much, I would find it hard to believe if anybody really, you know, at this stage of the game doesn't understand what each uh, candidate stands for, you've got one who stands for America and the other doesn't. I mean, it's pretty much clear as day. <laughs> each candidate will have two minutes to respond to questions, followed by one minute for rebuttals. 
and responses to rebuttals. Okay, so now check this out. This is where things get really interesting. Moderation and enforcement. So there is no doubt in my mind that uh, the fact that the debate will be moderated by CNN anchors Fake Tapper and Dana Bash, that is 1 billion percent going to favor Biden because it's somebody just posted, I think it was David Sachs just posted on X. Follow me on X too at Professor News. I'm Professor News everywhere. Facebook, X, Rumble. Um, David Sachs just posted on X saying um, Trump's opponent will not be Joseph Biden on Thursday. It will be CNN, which I think is so apropos and totally appropriate. Microphones will be muted when it is not the candidate's turn to speak to enforce the no interruption rule, because that to me, one billion percent favors Biden. Because the guy can barely get through a sentence. The guy can barely get through a thought. Uh, He's obviously experiencing major cognitive decline. And what I think made the first debate uh, in the last election in 2020 so powerful was to see really Trump uh, uh, exert his dominance and really just call him out on every single category, every single policy of BS coming from the woke mafia. Uh, I thought that was brilliant, even though everybody was, oh, my God, he's, he's, he's totally the, the crying tears of the left, the absolute liberal deluge of tears. He can't even have a conversation. He's talking over him. He's talking over him because he's a vegetable. And you guys actually propagating this vegetable to be the leader of the free world, which is essentially uh, uh, manifesting the demise of the Western civilization as we know it. You should be ashamed of yourself. Moderators will use tools at their disposal to manage timing and ensure a civilized discussion. Again, this is very subjective. What does that mean, civilized discussion? What do you mean? What kind of tools are they going to use at their disposal? What kind of timing? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Podiums and prompts. So so that's, that's a major, major deal. Candidates will stand at uniform podiums with their positions determined by a coin flip. We know Trump won the recent coin flip, so he will go last. No props or pre-written notes will be allowed. Now, I want to highlight this. No props, no pre-written notes will be allowed. I think that is absolutely huge because if there's one thing we have known in the past, if there's one thing that we've seen time and time again is that is Biden gets L after L, loss after loss. He can't even beat the teleprompter. The teleprompter kicks his butt. We He has proven that over and over and over again. So I don't know how much juice they're going to pump him up full of at Camp David. He uh, is spending this entire week at Camp David uh, preparing for Thursday. I even have an insider exclusive source that has told me that the president, rigor mortis, Joseph Biden, tombstone vegetable in chief, is actually practicing standing and sitting. You heard that right. That is not a technical glitch. Standing and sitting. This is our president. This is our president. This is our president. It's an absolute travesty. Each candidate will be provided with a pen a pad of paper, and a bottle of water, okay? Biden's water will definitely be spiked. Audience and interaction. I think this is another interesting aspect of this first debate. There will be no live studio audience. So no chance of let's go, Brandon. No chance of beep, you, Biden. Um, No chance of Trump, Trump, Trump. That's going to favor Biden a billion percent. We're seeing where everything's leaning, aren't we? During the commercial breaks, candidates will not be allowed to interact with their campaign staff so they can't inject him full of fresh pills or fresh juice in between uh, commercial breaks. That's That actually works out, I think, better for Trump. Um, there has been talk that uh, RFK Jr. should have had eligibility. Uh, just really quickly, just because this is a, a parameter. Candidates must meet specific eligibility criteria, including appearing on enough state ballots to reach 270 electoral votes and achieving at least 15% in four national polls. So there won't be any RFK uh, Jr., even though he's running. Uh, Trump recently said in his Philadelphia speech that he thought um, it was fair that RFK Jr. wasn't on there because he just uh, he just doesn't have the numbers. He doesn't have the numbers. 
You got to have those numbers. Beautiful numbers. We have beautiful numbers. Frankly, quite frankly, probably the greatest numbers out there. I'm working on my Trump impression. Tell me how I did. <laughs> no live audience. The absence. Of, okay, so what are some factors that I think are going to favor uh, uh, Biden? And I was as polite and modest. I kind of just, you know, put this together in a very polite way trying to, uh, 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 you know, kind of maintain my professionalism, but I got a lot to say about this. I'm sure you do too. The absence of a live audience could benefit Biden, who tends to perform better in controlled environments. Trump recently in a rally took live Q&A, unannounced, unpremeditated, no pretense, no preparation, took live questions, live Q&A from the audience. The fact that there isn't anything like that and the fact that this vegetable in chief can only operate in quote unquote controlled environments it's a travesty so there's no possibility of interruptions or distractions which can startle him because when you're in rigor mortis you can be easily startled at least i think you can um, microphone muting the rule to uh, mute microphones when it is not the candidate's turn to speak i imagine they're going to use that uh quite um freely uh, uh fake tapper and dana bash uh, ensures that Biden can deliver his responses without interruptions from Trump, who is known for his aggressive debate style and frequent interjections. You know what? I want an aggressive debate style. I want an aggressive negotiator, somebody who's dealing with Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping of China and Macron and the others. I want somebody who's going to uh, uh, inject frequent interjections. You want somebody who's tough. You want somebody who has balls. I don't want a tombstone. I don't want a lilting flower, a dead vegetable. I don't want that. Do you? Does that represent strength? It doesn't to me. I know that much. Um, structured format is definitely going to help Biden. The structured format with specific times and answers uh, and rebuttals. And I'm positive that CNN is going to give him all the questions beforehand. I mean, this is the party that has talked about Trump in such negative light. I mean, the 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 bias and the and the impartial the appearance of impropriety and impartiality it's it's so so absolutely egregious, uh, and so that's definitely going to help him. Now, some factors that could help uh, uh, Trump. Here are some factors that could help Trump besides the fact that he's amazingly cognitively adept, strong, can think on his toes. He exerts himself with confidence, with aplomb. Podium stance, Trump might benefit from a rule requiring candidates to stand. He has previously used his physical pre presence effectively, and that matters. If there's anything that has taught us, television, televised debates, in all honesty, you know, Nixon should have won in 1960. He had the experience. He really had the, I mean, till the last second, he had this, it was the one of the closest races. He really had it in the bag. But that television, that first televised debate, he absolutely botched it. So physical pre presence effective to dominate the stage, standing maybe more comfortable for him compared to Biden. No boop. No props or notes. Both candidates are barred from using. This is really important. From using props or pre-written notes, which levels the playing field in terms of preparation. Trump's experience as a television personality, never mind the fact that we had the greatest four years in the last 25 years, if not more, um, gives him a definite edge. Without even double-checking my news ticker here and all my resources, I can almost guarantee Biden will not accept this challenge. He will not agree to a drug test. But I can't, I want to throw this off to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think that Trump saying this, I mean, Trump has not asked for much. He agreed to all of CNN's highly, highly favored favoritism being shown towards uh, uh, Biden uh, rules, terms, and conditions. This seems like a very simple request. It seems like a pretty obvious request. It would be a great way to dispel all of the speculation, all of the concern, all of the scrutiny that Biden has come under, especially with his physical demeanor, videos showing him frozen, stiff, lost in thought, uh, incapable of being aware in the moment. Um, you know, there's, there's, that would be a great way to do that. Why wouldn't he? Why would you not agree to this drug test? It makes no sense, but I can almost guarantee that he won't. But I want to throw this off to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think he should? He shouldn't? 
Do you think they both should? Do you think it even matters? Um, does does it have any kind of uh, criteria for your decision in 2024 in November? Uh, I would love to hear from you. Are you going to watch the debate too? Are you going to join us? By the way, we're going to go live Thursday night. Are you going to join us? Are you going to watch the debate? I'm going to do my best to use a different source than CNN after what they've pulled, and, and I'm not even going to be using them as a source. So, a great way if you're if there's sort of this uh, hashtag boycott CNN movement happening on Twitter and, and X. If you're down with that like I am, make sure you watch us because I'm going to be uh, definitely using a different source for the debates. So you're going to have live analysis, live commentary. We're going to have fun. It's going to be engaging. It's going to be involved. Uh, I highly, highly recommend you check us out. Uh, and so let me know. Your, your sure proof way of never missing out, though, in the pinned comment, in the description and show notes, is our free newsletter. Free. Become an As Nation Insider. That way you never miss out on top current live breaking news, top stories, current events that the woke propagandist machine won't share with you. Mainstream media doesn't cover this stuff, especially the objective, objective truth. We got to get our country back. We have four months left until the biggest moment of our lives as American citizens to get our country back. We got to get our country back. So it would, it, would, it would behoove you to sign up for our free newsletter so you can really be informed, share these videos, tap that thumbs up. We want as many people as possible. It's not vanity. I could give a rat's ass. I don't care about likes, but the likes help the algorithm to trigger our video so it pushes it to more people. So it takes you a nanosecond. Just tap that thumbs up so we can reach more people, so we can educate, make people more aware of the truth. So in November, we won't be hit with a big shock. We'll be too big to rig. So I can't wait to hear from you guys. Check out these videos right here on the screen right now. Follow and subscribe. Join, become a member, support us. We have a lot of fun. And as always, God bless you and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.